Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Bam Adebayo crowned NBA's best defender on social media. After about 650,000 entries were submitted, the results are in. Hue the drum roll according to NBA X, formerly Twitter, Bam Adebayo is the best defender in the NBA. This is no surprise, and yet it is surprising, as contradictory as that sounds. X account at NBA underscore university ran the poll to determine the lockup king. This fun, analytically driven, engaging account shows a ton of love for up-and-coming players, highlights deserving underreported stars, and feels the pulse of the NBA community with polls. With just under 200,000 followers, the at NBA underscore university polls have validity in terms of what the diehard fans feel about the NBA product. With Adebayo racking up the most votes in this best defender poll, it's safe to say his PR skyrocketed after the Olympic run. Though he deservedly is the best defender in the world, the untrained eye was still closed before Paris. Seeing Bam win this poll was surprising because you'd see ex-users downplay Adebayo's defense using typical counting stats like steals and blocks. Accounts like at NBA underscore university stress that steals and blocks don't always equate to good defense. If a player is routinely out of position and gambling for those stats, they'll hurt the team more than aid it, even if they have five steals and five blocks. Bam is never out of position, he'll never sacrifice giving up baskets to chase stats. Defensive juggernauts like Victor Wimbanyuma, Bam beat him in the semifinals, usually get more love in these rankings than Bam do to their stats. See last year, when he finished second over Bam for Defensive Player of the Year. But the casual fan's defensive third eye has been awakened, apparently. It took seeing Bam effortlessly guarding anybody on any court at the Olympic level for certain fans to see his impact, even though he's been the defensive catalyst to two NBA Finals participations. Better late than never. The media is still lagging behind in granting Bam what he's owed. He's still Defensive Player of the Year less. It doesn't feel right to know that the most versatile and impactful bigs of this generation, Bam and Anthony Davis, have zero DPOYs, which doesn't tell the full story of this era. Bam and AD matched up in this poll in the finals because they're souped-up defensive tanks with abnormal agility for a big. With pace and space emphasized in this era, a big man who can guard in space takes your defense to another level in pivotal playoff spots. Bam is elite on the perimeter, and AD is a top-five rim protector and plus-switch defender. It's fitting that these gold medal winners squared off to determine the winner of this poll. They're the ideal defensive bigs to cover space and still deter shots at the rim. Based on his time at the Olympics, Bam's peers clearly respect him. Most fans have finally come around, realizing that his defensive versatility is the most impactful in the association. As soon as the media falls in line, there will be no question if Bam gets the love he deserves. He's getting that DPOY this year. The media is on notice. Jimmy Butler named one of NBA's most important people by NBA analyst. It's no secret the impact star Jimmy Butler has on the Miami Heat, but his influence is now gaining recognition league-wide. NBA analyst Brian Windhorst of ESPN listed Butler as one of the NBA's most important people for the upcoming season on the Hoop Collective. I'm going to say Jimmy Butler, another player going into the last year of his contract, sounds like he had brief discussions with the Heat about a contract extension, Windhorst said. So Jimmy is highly motivated to have a big year, he's 35. The Heat finished eighth the last two years and two years that have been plagued with injuries. Their big investment, Tyler Harrow, has had a lot of injuries in that time. As Windhorse noted, the six-time All-Star holds more motivation than ever. Butler is looking to prove worthy of a maximum contract extension, despite the weighty amount of miles on him, especially from his tenure with the Chicago Bulls. It's fertile ground for Jimmy to have a big year, to try to get one last big contract from the Heat, Windhorst shared. The Heat have shown throughout the, Pat, Riley years when they think it's time and they will pay players. 
the decision is not only in the hands of Miami's front office, as Butler could decide to head elsewhere next offseason. The Miami Heat could start exploring Jimmy Butler trade, NBA Insider. With Jimmy Butler expected to opt out from the final year of his deal at the end of this coming season, ESPN NBA insider Brian Windhorst wants everybody to pay close attention to the Miami Heat and a potential move they might attempt to make involving their resident all-star wingman this coming season. On the latest episode of the Hoops Collective podcast released on September 3, Windhorst said that Butler is looking poised to have a strong year next season as he tries to earn his final max-level contract in the NBA. Windhorst believed Butler has all the motivation he needs to put up stellar numbers across the board next season after failing to secure a contract extension from the Miami Heat last summer. It's fertile ground for Jimmy to have a big year and get one final contract, Windhorst stated on the podcast. Heat have shown in Riley's years that they will move off of players when they think that it's time as Windhorst seems to insinuate on his podcast, Butler cannot afford to have another down year next season since Heat president Pat Riley is notorious for trading players once their performances begin to subside. Butler averaged 20.3 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 5.0 assists per game during the 2023-24 regular season, which are still elite numbers by NBA standards. Unfortunately, the enigmatic Heat star could not play in the first-round series with bitter rival and eventual champions, Boston Celtics, due to an MCL injury he suffered in the play-in game against the Philadelphia 76ers. As expected, the Heat lost to the Celtics in five games as they sorely missed Butler's court leadership and shot-making ability that earned him the fabled nickname Jimmy Buckets. In an ambush interview following the Heat's exit, Butler claimed that Miami would have beaten the Celtics and the New York Knicks had he stayed healthy for the postseason. Riley was not happy with the comments made by Butler and took a swipe at his star player, stressing he should keep his mouth shut. Several days before the start of NBA free agency in July, rumors were buzzing about a potential reunion between Butler and the Philadelphia 76ers, the last team he played before joining the Heat in 2019. According to Keith Pompey of the Philadelphia Inquirer, the Sixers were willing to offer Butler a max deal should he force her way out of Miami. However, Riley's unwillingness to engage in trade rumors involving Butler essentially shot down the rumor. Butler has stressed several times already about his plan to play for Miami, at least for this coming season. But just as when the trade rumors on Butler is about to die, a new one pops out of nowhere to stir up more drama and intrigues 10 months before the Heat star becomes eligible to forego the $52 million player option for the 2025 season and hits the free agency waters in July 2025. According to Brian Lewis of the New York Post, the Brooklyn Nets have emerged as potential free agency destination for Butler once he hits the free agency market in 2025. Lewis added that Butler also has an interest in the Nets. The odds of him picking up his player option are slim unless he agrees to a max deal with the Heat beforehand, Lewis wrote. The six-time All-Star is the most accomplished standout on that, free agent, list not named, LeBron, James, and he likes Brooklyn, according to sources close to the player. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jimmy Butler? Leave your opinion in the comments.